My lords, it is an honor to follow Baroness Richie of Don Patrick. I also like to thank and welcome um, Lord Santamon back to the house and congratulate him, congratulate him on his maiden speech. First, I want to thank all members of the select committee, which I was one of them, staff and those who gave evidence, and the chair, Lord Krebs, for their excellent work. If implemented, will save lots of lives and keep us healthy and stop those who harm us through the food we eat, the environment we live in, and so on. Dalu, as we say in Igbo, thank you. My lords, most people agree that post-COVID-19 is not business as normal, but a new normal that will take, a, take on board what this report is calling for, change. People are hungry for change and they want the failures in food fixed and they don't want any harm done to them through their food. My lords, in the London borough of Haringey where I live, children and young people under the age of 20 make up 20.4% of the population. 10.8% of children in Haringey aged four to five, and the 23.1% of 10 to 11 year olds are classified as obese. Obesity in Haringey cost our NHS more than 81 million pounds a year. My lords, two-fifths of all the children in Haringe are living below poverty line in lead up to the pandemic. They lack the income to buy the food they need. Haringe Coalition Against Obesity made up of local businesses, churches, voluntary organizations, working with Haringe Council to defeat obesity and save our young people. At the same time, working very hard to maintain a viable and vital local economy. Their mission was to stop takeaways targeting school pupils, put people's health first, stop the scourge of takeaways sitting up on the doorsteps of our schools. My lords, the government could implement the outstanding proposals from the Childhood Obesity Plan without delay. The government could introduce mandatory reporting requirements for food businesses on metric relating to sustainable and healthy diets. The government can implement the outstanding proposals from the 2020 obesity strategy. My lords, on the fast food outlet, the government response is, I quote, council should stop the role that, that should support the role that town centers play at the heart of their communities and promote their long-term vitality and viability. They will need to consider the interaction that location of existing high streets, shopping parades, and local shops as rigid exclusion zones could serve to undermine the vitality of such long-standing retail uses. My lords, where is the evidence? That's the question I asked the government minister. Thank you. Thank you. The other